Hi everyone, my name is Dougie, this is Dougie Gaming, and I know it's been like a bazillion years since I last uploaded a video. I am sorry, but I did mention in my last one that I was going to start getting very busy, so it was going to be hard to find the time to actually record and edit and do all that stuff. Um, I did give up on the $7 challenge. I did say it on the last video as well, like it just wasn't fun anymore. And, um, yeah, I mean, I didn't see the point. I mean, if I'm not having fun with it, then I just don't see the point. But I, w I did do something in my free time, and that is a bill. And I don't have the speed bill of it, but you can find the bill in the gallery because it is uploaded, and I will link in the description below. I will show it to you guys. I'm going to go to my gallery here if it opens, and I'm going to show you guys how you can find it because it is slightly modded. But it's only um, a few, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's only like walls and stuff. And I made this right after the bowling pack came out. So it is mainly inspired, not in the 50s, because I didn't find that style attractive particularly. But it is inspired in the whole bowling situation. So what you do to see it is when you are browsing, you have to go to advanced and you have to click on include costume content. And then you see what I have here, which is not a lot. Once I click here, there we go. There's a lot of other stuff. And this is the building. It's called the Mega House of Fun. And I will go show it to you guys. Obviously, because no one's doing that because I didn't upload any video. It has, like, no downloads. But I'm hoping that um, now that you guys see it and you like, if you like it, you can download it. I am in love with this build because mainly because it has so much stuff. I will show it to you in a second. But I really quickly wanted to go over the pack that it has so you know what you need. Obviously, uh, The Sims Bowling Night stuff. Then it's got stuff from The Sims Get Together, City Living, Dine Out, Spa Day, Get to Work, Perfect Patio Stuff, Vampires, and Outdoor Retreat, and, well, the main digital deluxe upgrade or whatever that is. Anyways, those are the packs included in this. It's a 30 by 30 and it's got a lot of stuff, but we're not going to go over the screenshots here. We're going to go into the actual building and we're going to do a walkthrough so you can actually see it. So I see, I'll see, i see you guys on the other side. Okay, guys, here we are. This is the build. And I mean, outside, I guess it doesn't have like a lot going on. It's missing a roof. There we go. Um, I just wanted a big space where we could have all the fun stuff. Basically, it's a fun house. That's why I named it whatever it is that I named it. The Mega Fun uh, House or the Mega House of Fun or whatever. And um, I placed it on that one lot that is like near the water in uh, San Maishuno. I thought it was just very fitting. And it is a 30 by 30, as I showed you guys before, and it's very colorful. Outside, it just mainly went with like a dark red and a uh, gray tone. By the way, the only mods in this building, because it will tell you that it's modded, is some of the wall colors. That's it. I'm pretty sure I didn't use any like modded furniture or anything like that. So when you download this, unless you have this mod for the colors, you might have different colors, but... Nothing that is that big of a deal that will like take away from your gaming experience and you can totally make it your own with your own colors or you can download some from the Sims resource. That's where I got this. It's just plain colors you can see right here. And um it does have a bit of a 50 vibe, I suppose. I'm gonna let this guy in because he's dying. I just brought him um to come in, but let, let's make him get in. Anyways, um because of the color palette, because of the objects that came with the bowling pack. It does have a bit of a 50 buy, but that's not really what I was going for because I feel like it's been done. Uh, this whole bag is sort of 50 and vintage, right? I just wanted to be like really colorful. It feel like it was just fun to go there. So anyways, this is where you walk in, obviously. The stairs are right there. We're going to go upstairs in a second. Obviously, the main feature of the place is the bowling alley. So on the right here we have the bowling station and i managed to fit one two three four five bowling lanes for your sims so they can play and then we have some bowling here and there's a lot of room here um i guess you can put like a bar one thing that i did is i placed a lot of bars everywhere but i noticed that only one bartender comes in 
So it might be a waste of space. Uh, this just a suggestion. Sorry, you can maybe you can like do something else with the space if you prefer. There's a lot of TVs everywhere as well. A lot of fridges. I just really wanted to give like this sort of arcade-ish slash bowling slash everything you could possibly think of. There is even a karaoke machine in this area right here. Dag, dag. Yes, hello. And uh, a lot of dancing floors, which at first I was like super concerned with getting them straight. But then I was like, you know what? I actually like the whole patchy look. So I just decided to make it like that on purpose and make it look like it's all patchy on purpose. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and try to line them up. I just didn't see the point. Anyways, yeah, this is like a dancing station and slash karaoke station. There are radios uh, everywhere. There's another bar there. And then if we go upstairs, we come through the stairs right here. And here there's uh, foosballs, llama table, card tables, um, and we have arcade games over here. And then in this section, I decided to go with like a more chill, more clubby type of situation there's a dj booth and there's dancing floor where you can see the downstairs you can see the bowling going on downstairs which i thought was pretty cool there's another bar but like because there's a bartender um on the bottom ground there's no bartender here there's a, a bubble blower thing and in here we have some bathrooms i didn't bother making like female male whatever i just made like a few bathrooms like a few uh toilet stations uh i think there's four of them i figured that's enough i didn't want to waste like a lot of space with the room you know that my bills are mainly functionality i don't bother myself with uh, making it look realistic i want it to be workable for your sim having a space that has like 15 bathrooms when you know you won't need them just doesn't make any sense to me but anyways in this gaming area there's also a tv with a console so they can play actual video games this place was inspired in a, a place that was in my city a few years ago called Ludica. And it was pretty much this. You had like arcade games, you had PlayStation stations, you had pool tables, which we don't have in The Sims, but if we did, they would be here. Uh, it had like a bit of a bar in a corner, it had pinball machines, you know, it was like a bit of everything. It was a really, really cool place. And then we have this outside area with some tables. And this I did because I figured if at some point I want to turn this into a restaurant, then I can easily do so. I can just move some stuff around and then we have some tables already set here. And then maybe I can push this and create a, a kitchen or maybe we can do a kitchen in here. Like it would be easy to turn this into an actual restaurant if you want it. Uh, the lot is said as a bar or a lounge. I'm not sure which one of those, but it is one of those. But anyways, that's it. I'm sorry that this is going to be a very short video. I just really wanted to show you guys that I have been building, even if not a lot, um, because I haven't had a lot of time. And uh, I'm sorry that there is no speed build for this. But the building is there. If you want it, I, like I showed you before, you just go to the gallery. Then you click on show modded or include modded, whatever the option is under advanced. It's the only option under advanced, so you can't miss it and you'll see it. And once more, in case you skip through the video, although I don't see why you would do that. It's a very short video. <laughs> um, the only modded things in this build are the color of the walls, which is totally replaceable by stuff in the game if you don't have this. So it shouldn't be a big deal. You should be able to still have everything that you see here with no problem. And this is how little time I've had. I haven't even been able to do anything for the plant sim challenge, which makes me really sad. I want a sim that is a plant. But oh well, maybe some other time. I am hoping to be able to build something in the following weeks and actually have a speed build for you guys. Until then, I hope you guys are awesome and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.